Hello, Pastor David here, and I'm super excited about welcoming you back to in-person worship. Now, we know not all of you are going to be wanting to come back to in-person worship, but have no fear. We're going to be uh, sending this out virtually every week, every week, so everyone will be able to worship. But because of the pandemic, there's... Um, some things are going to be different inside. So come on in and we're going to show you, okay? So here we are in the Narfex. And um, I need to tell you that in order to come to in-person worship, you're going to have to make a reservation because we can only have a limited number of people in our sanctuary. If you want to attend, you must register online during the week before that Sunday. Uh, watch your email and e-news for the link. And um, be sure, of course, to wear a mask. We will have extras in case. Uh, we ask that you enter through the main church doors like we just did, and those doors will be open 15 minutes before the 9.45 a.m. service. Of course, you're going to hear this a lot, maintain social distancing. So, as you come into the Narthex, you'll see that we have a table on either side. And when you come in, each person will get their own communion cup. Uh, and I need to tell you, this is grape juice. This is grape juice. Uh, if, if you want to have bread and wine, you have to bring your own. And uh, remember, you need to bring a cup too, all right, for that. But for those of you who want to use one of these, uh, there, there are two layers. Up here on top is the wafer, all right? And you'll first take that off when it's time for communion. And then there's another layer that comes off for you to drink the grape juice. We're going to ask that you also pick up a baggie because at the end of communion, what are you going to do with your trash? It's going to go in there. And then, of course... What would church be without an offering plate, right? Okay, so that'll be out here too. All right, uh, let me see here. Now, once you've finished at the tables, you go to the ushers. And I have an usher standing right here, Chad Gerke. All right, for purposes of the video, I'm going to remove my mask. Like Pastor David said, we'll proceed to the usher. Maintain distance between groups as you wait to be seated. And then let the usher know how many will be seated in your group. So we will start by seating from front to back, every other row, one side at a time. And we may even use the side pews for additional seating. Uh, please be flexible. We may ask you to move to an end or in the middle of a row and where you sit may not be in your usual spot. Maintain distance between groups in the pews at all times. All right. All right. Thank you, Usher Chad. <laughs> now, once you're here for in-person worship, you will notice several other things that have been done in here in order to have a safe space. But some of the things that you need to know are once you're seated, please remain there, okay? Your mask is to remain on except for the brief moment that you will take communion. And by the way, communion will take place in the pews, at least for now. When it's time for the children's sermon, children will stay with their parents in the pews, all right? The main restrooms in the fellowship hall will be open, but avoid having too many people in there at one time, please. Now, you're not going to like this, but there's no congregational singing because of the aerosols, you know all that. But joyful humming is encouraged, okay? <laughs> Got it? All right. Uh, same thing with speaking in unison. Can't do that either, but meaningful 
Whispering is fine. All right. Well, now it's time to leave from worship, and we have a plan for that also. So I turn things back over to Chad. All right. At the end of worship, please gather all your belongings, including the communion baggie. We will dismiss by row from back to front. We'll dis dismiss one side at a time. Once we're in the narthex, we'll dispose of your communion baggie in the garbage by the front door. Be prepared to move conversations outside so we can keep the flow of people moving. And again, maintain distance between the groups as you exit. Okay. Thank you very much. And... Um, we appreciate you watching the video. We look forward to seeing you over the next several weeks, either in person or as has been the case this whole year. We will see you virtually. Goodbye.